Well, I developed the world's strongest coffee because of my customers. I owned a coffee shop in Saratoga Springs, New York, and my customers would come in all the time and say, Mike, give me a cup of your strongest. And nothing existed out there, at least nothing Nothing was strong enough that, that I couldn't make stronger myself. So I, I just decided to do some research, put some beans together, and make the world's strongest coffee. I think when we first started, no one really took us very seriously. We're Death Wish Coffee, the world's strongest coffee. Everyone just thought it was a gimmick. But then, you know, they went out and tried it, and our customers left great reviews, and we continue to get positive review after review. And yeah, maybe, you know, initially it comes across as gimmicky, and then you try it, and then you fall in love with the product. My first thought when I found out I won the Super Bowl commercial was that everyone was messing with me. It was unreal. And my, my thoughts were, it was more emotion than, th than thought. I was ecstatic, I, I, and I started to cry. <laughs> and I'm like, I'm not a crier. <laughs> I wish I had an exact answer. I've actually went online, I looked for case studies, nothing out there exists. And it's definitely going to put my brand into you know, a higher level, and we're gonna be more recognizable. So one of my goals, uh, when I started Death Wish Coffee, is to have it, like, build an iconic brand. This is gonna help us get there. It's gonna, it's gonna take us from, you know, we're only three years old, and it's probably gonna fast forward us about 10 years into the future. <laughs>